Make it, sing it, draw it, say it. This is how dog zombies play it. Do your most a furry creature. Draw a picture of my teacher. I like wafers, they're the best. Marcus Mel Drew's not impressed. Granny's custard's very lumpy. Delia is always grumpy. I'm Tom Nix. Make an awesome waxy doodle, match my classmates with their pets, and make a champion rosette. Welcome to my brilliant show! Hello, today is a big day. Me and my best friend Derek are taking his dog Rooster to a dog show. It took ages to get Rooster ready. I think Rooster could win. And, if he does, we should spend the prize money on treats. And something nice for Rooster, too. Oh, obviously. He does look great. Rooster! Rooster! Oh, no, Tom! The dog show starts soon. Don't panic. It's not that bad. We'll just give Rooster a good bop. <gasps> <gasps> You said the B word. What? Buff? Whoops! You said it again! Well, don't worry. Even the biggest mess can become an awesome doodle. It's time for Draw It! It's Liz. She writes and draws all the Tom Gates books. Right now, I'm going to show you how to do a wax resist doodle. Amazing! All you need is a piece of paper, some paint, water, paint brushes, and you also need something to put underneath. You don't want to get the table messy. So I've got a bit of tissue here. You also need an oil pastel or a wax crayon. Either will do, but you just need something to be able to draw with. Got it. Thanks, Liz. I'm going to draw on the white paper. You won't see very much. Let's just start here. Get a nice surprise at the end. If I look down like that, I can just about see what I'm drawing. I know you can't see anything, but it's getting there. I think that's done. You can just about... Maybe one more up there. There you are. So when you've done that, mix up some watercolour and it has to be watercolour. So you could use poster paint as well, that will probably work. Mix it up with some water. I'm going to use this nice big thick paintbrush here and I've already got some mixed up. I'm using a nice dark colour. If you use a dark colour then you'll see the wax really stands out. A bit of water. Do a tester first. Just see just on this bit here. I think it's going to work. So you need it to be quite liquidy. There we are. So where I've drawn, the water is resisting. So you actually get to see the, the wax coming through. Oh, I see. I love this bit. It's like magic painting. If you think you've put too much paint on, you can always take a little bit of tissue. You can just dab it off. If you use paper that's quite thick as well, that helps, because you're going to be putting a lot of water on it. Good tip. Now can you see why it's best to have a dark colour as well? Really stands out. It's nice because these are the same doodle patterns that you might see on the books, but just done in a very different way. Right, there you go. 
Finished, all done. What do you think? I think it looks great. And you could try doing a monster, you could do more doodles, make up your own patterns. It's just a different technique and it's a different way of doing doodles. So I hope you have fun trying that out. Thanks Liz, that was great. Why don't you give it a go? Welcome to my show. Right, whilst we give Rooster a bath, I think there's just enough time to play it. Have you ever noticed how pets sometimes look a bit like their owners? Not really. Mm, I think they do. Here are five pets. Some of my classmates and my teacher from school. Can you guess which pet belongs to which owner? There's Florence Mitchell. Mark Clump. He has a lot of pets. Mr Filament. Tom, have you done your homework? Yes, sir. I didn't know I had any homework. Amy Porter. And Marcus Meldry. I bet his pet's annoying. <gasps> OK, here we go. Match the face to the pet. It's quite tricky, but they do all look a bit like their owners. Time's nearly up. Have you matched them up yet? Hey, that's it. How many did you get? Talking of pets... <coughs> me and my best friend Derek have been getting his dog Rooster ready for a dog show. We might just make the dog show if we hurry. Great. Let's dry Rooster and give him a brush. I don't have a brush. I do. It's OK. I've only borrowed it from my sister Delia. She'll never know. Done. Eh, it could be worse. Uh, at least he's clean. Come on, Rooster, we need to go. Or we'll miss the jog show. <laughs> Tom! We got to the dog show just in time for Rooster to win Fluffiest Fur in Show. Lucky we gave him that bath. <coughs> Rooster! <coughs> you can be a champion too with your own winner's rosette. Let's make it. Let's make our very own rosette. You will need... Two sheets of coloured paper, one sheet of white paper, some string, some PVA glue, sticky tape, scissors... Be careful with scissors! Coloured pens... And the glue stick? Yeah, and the glue stick. What? You want one? Yeah. OK. Right, got all that? Fantastic! Let's get uh. making! Take a sheet of coloured paper and cut about a third of it lengthways, like this. Set this bit aside for later. Now fold about a centimetre from the bottom forwards, then fold it backwards. And keep folding forwards and backwards all the way up the paper. When you unfold it, it should look like this. Do the same with the other piece of coloured paper. Now you've got two crinkly strips. Pinch and fold in the middle. Hold them together like this. And tie them up with string. Cut off any extra string. Be careful with scissors. And use the glue stick to glue the inner edges of the bows together to make the circle. Now take your extra strip of paper and cut it down the middle like this. Then cut out two triangles at the bottom of each strip to make the ribbons. Fix them to the back of the rosette with some sticky tape like this. 
Take your white piece of paper, draw a circle and design for the centre of your rosette. Cut it out. Use a large blob of glue in the centre to fix it to the front. Perfect. You have your very own rosette. You can make your rosette with any colour or patterns that you like. See? It's really true. Pets do look like their owners. Mm-hmm. <laughs>